So hello, my, na my name is uh, ALXD and I wanted to, tell, uh, to talk about stories uh, uh, and especially about uh, hacker stories because for the last two years I've been researching uh, hacker values in popular culture and uh, the types of stories we, uh, we tell because as hackers we have a lot to say, uh, we have a lot of proposals on how technology should work in the society, uh, how we want to avoid all the dangers we can see that others cannot see, but we do a very, very bad job at communicating it. Uh, whenever we try to talk about net neutrality, about free software, people see us like black hats, uh, like conflict mongers that are there uh, to only smash the system, to destroy their bank accounts, and uh, to basically bring trouble. And the problem is that we need to tell stories, not only produce white papers, because most of people will not, uh, most of the people, most of the general public will not read the white papers. They want to hear stories and they need to have in mind that there may be problems if somebody uses only closed uh, uh, solutions. There may be problems if somebody basically buys only uh, closed corporate stocks and, may, and is totally dependent on closed social media. Uh, the cyberpunk uh, genre started as a warning, but sadly uh, it became our default future. And if you talk to a lot of non-technical people, you can see that they see cyberpunk as uh, basically the future. If they see some new piece of technology, uh, they don't say, oh, it's so futuristic. They say, oh, it's so cyberpunk. And especially outside of Europe, outside of uh, U the US, you can see a lot of makers, a lot of people that are actually wishing for a cyberpunk future because they wish for better technology, for better integration of technology with our bodies, uh, completely ignoring the fact that cyberpunk actually uh, proposes a lot more, that cyberpunk introduces the constant surveillance, the mega corporations, uh, and uh, total lack of uh, uh, power to, among the regular people uh, and this all comes in a bundle. So whatever people dream of cyberpunk future, uh, we actually normalize those things and it's much easier to accept surveillance, it's, it's much easier not to rebel against uh, corporations, against uh, a lot of solutions that are bad for society if we see it constantly. Uh, the stories that we tell as hackers are usually stories of rebellion against that. And uh, hackers are again seen as some exceptional individuals that are fighting the system and is always fighting the system. There are very, very, very few works that actually uh, tell about our values, about free software, about technological ne neutrality that are accessible to regular people that uh, can talk about the whole society. And sadly, with those, uh, we only strengthen dystopias because we agree to actually uh, be written in the cyberpunk narrative as those fighters that uh, are the element of the cyberpunk and also we alienate ourselves farther from the society and people in governments, people uh, in different councils are much less likely uh, to talk to us uh, when it comes to, to giving any advice because we are the conflict mongers. Uh, there is an alternative, that, uh, a chance that uh, we can take. There is a new genre which is uh, being, uh, being created right now. The name is Solarpunk and it's uh, supposed to be an alternative to the uh, cyberpunk uh, future. Solarpunk is a, a utopia or at least a hopeful future. It's a future that is available for everybody, not for only exceptional individuals, which is very green and eco-friendly, where everything is uh, designed to be as green as uh, possible, where there are horizontal power structures. So the things that we know from our hacker spaces, the things that we know from the anarchism that is all around us at CCC, uh, they propose it for the whole society, so that every school teacher, every baker, every average regular person is able to take part in that 
And this is a great platform for us to tell the actual hacker stories, to tell about our adventures, our problems that we have as society within our, uh, our groups, and platform to tell the, about distributed technology and uh, open source and free software. Uh, so I want to tell about uh, hacker spaces in this way. This is uh, an art that uh, was created by Mike Luzzi. Uh, and please contact me on my email or Mastodon if you would like to uh, discuss this topic. Thank you. Thank you.